Hello and welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Hollow and today we're talking about Deathloop, Arcane Studios upcoming game that was officially announced all the way back last year at E3 2019. Arcane are the wonderful people who made the Dishonored games with that awesome combination of stealth, action combat, magic, melee and gunplay all at once. To say the least, it was very good and Arcane established themselves as a creative and pretty fun studio. However, Dishonored 1 and 2 are complete and it's been a while since we've had a new release from this team, which is why I was excited to finally hear about a new IP coming from them. So here's everything we know about Arcane's new IP, Deathloop so far. For the story and setting of Deathloop, I'll paraphrase the original description to give you a good idea of what this is all about. Deathloop transports you to the mysterious island of Black Reef, where an eternal struggle between two assassins is determining the island's future. As Colt, you need to find a way to put an end to this time loop that's trapping the island in an endless cycle while being hunted by its inhabitants. Using your weapons and special abilities, you'll need to take out eight key targets across the island before the day resets in order to break the loop once and for all. However, lurking in the shadows is a rival assassin, Juliana, whose sole mission is to just kill Colt and keep the loop going. Learning more and more each cycle, you'll attempt new paths and approaches and try to break that loop. So we're playing as Colt, confirmed, and we're trying to kill specifically eight people out across the island however we can, making use of the many different weapons and magic abilities of the game, all while on a time limit or a single life. The game's set in a sort of retro future style inspired by the 60s specifically. The idea was to create a stylish sort of wonderland environment that has something very sinister about the whole vibe at the same time. The gameplay is exciting for different reasons, so let's talk about that. This is that arcane gameplay style from Dishonored. They're self-proclaimed innovative take on first person action, letting you use stealth or direct guns blazing combat. It features lots of otherworldly powers as well as a reasonable roster of weaponry. I think their ideal plan is that you make use of both actively based on whatever situation you find yourself in. Frankly, Dishonored's gameplay was incredible. From the magic abilities to the slick combat, set in that dark and pretty intriguing world, the story itself was really good. These devs are known for the clever designs and solid storylines. They just seem to get it. And Deathloop really looks like we're using the same powers as the Dishonored games with some new additions and a bunch of improvements. If you've never sat down and watched, say, a Dishonored speedrun or maybe a perfect stealth run on one of the very well-designed levels, it's incredible. And they have the same focus here again. You can clearly see the Dishonored style of gameplay here. To me, it seems obvious who made this game just by looking at the gameplay. But just like Dishonored 1 to 2, it seems like they've made a more fleshed out and fluid experience than last time. They've kept that core and given you more options that you probably wonder how you ever played without. I have every faith in them for this. So on top of the gameplay itself, there is the loop system where you die and get sent back. So how does this work in gameplay? Whenever you fail and get sent back, whether it's death or running out of time, you come back having made some progress and having learned something new, hopefully. The idea is that you're trying to find clues and learn information about your targets, their locations, their weaknesses, their schedules, and then find that information however you can. With that information, you use it to approach the targets and take them out directly or quietly depending on whatever your plan is. Imagine that you've got information about say two of the eight targets and you're really good at taking these two out at this point but there's still six remaining and you've got to take all eight out before the end of the day or death so it's like setting yourself up for a speed run of the whole game only succeeding and beating the game when you successfully complete the speed run that is killing all eight targets. Via all that experience and information you've gathered by playing through many many loops just just like a real speed run where you just continuously fight the same bosses, learn the same areas until you're just so smooth at beating that area to progress to the next. There's literally incorporating speedrunning Dishonored levels into an actual game. A really good concept. But wait, now let me tell you about the multiplayer. This time Arcane are introducing a multiplayer aspect to their story game, but in a way that's both brand new and kind of comparable to a certain invasion mechanic. That rival assassin, Juliana, can be played at the same time as Colt, and her goal is of course to kill Colt. Now when I saw this in that new trailer, I was confused. I knew she was involved 
involved. You know, we saw both perspectives in that original trailer. So yeah, she's a playable character. But how does this work in the new story that we've been given? So how are we going to play a character who's trying to kill the main character? Arcane are basically attempting to combine a single player story with multiplayer aspects in which we play through the story as cult, right? Hunting those targets, trying to break that loop. Meanwhile, however, players can choose to play as Juliana, which then sends you straight into another player's campaign with that objective of killing Colt. That's nuts. So two main aspects to talk about here. Firstly, this is completely optional for people who don't want to deal with being ganked by some nutty player playing Juliana and they just want to do their own story playthrough. That's fine. In that case, Juliana will be an AI in their campaign and show up randomly. Secondly, it's literally a Dark Souls invasion mechanic, but in like a arcane dishonored style of game. I'm so excited to try that. In Dark Souls, invasions would transport you to another player's world with the goal of killing them. Once you do, you get sent back to your world having gained some currency, souls. However, you would go into these invasions with limits, uh, you would have a smaller amount of heals than normal, you can't access certain mechanics for balance, and also you might invade a world where there's multiple players because they're doing co-op, so the odds might be stacked against you even more. Now in this case, you're also neutral to the AI of the world, so you could use them to your favor in the fight, which is probably the same here in Deathloop for Juliana players. Such an incredible concept to have to fight a player who's invading your world. It's exciting, it's scary, and it could go anyway because you've no idea how good or bad or whatever that enemy player is. In Dark Souls 2, for the first time ever, players were able to invade during a boss fight, which was normally their only safe spaces from such things. It was in a specific boss fight called the Mirror Knight, which was awesome. And it seems like Juliana players can appear at any time, whatever you're doing. And I really, really want more details on this because how are they going to balance that? I really hope we can specifically invade our friends as well because that would be awesome if we we're on a call and then I invaded them. Now let's tackle the quick extra information you might be wondering about, starting with the platforms. I'm happy to say that this is not a PlayStation exclusive. The platforms Deathloop will release on are PlayStation 5 and PC, thank the Lord. Just like Dishonored we can play this one on the PC if we'd like, which I'm sure many people are going to be happy to hear. However, I have to wonder, will the invasion mechanic work cross-platform? If we reference the Soul series as that example of this mechanic, they kept invasions to their specific platforms, so no PC player was invading a console player. You'd have to be on that specific version, which kind of sucked. More so because, in this case, PC players don't really have a direct advantage over console players in the Souls world. It's a melee magic environment, right? Whereas in an FPS game, they certainly do have an advantage. So I'm not really hopeful for this being cross-platform. Next, we're going to talk about the release date, which is currently set sometime during winter this year. It's releasing on PlayStation 5, so obviously after the launch of the PlayStation 5, which also comes this winter. Thing is, though, I've not seen anywhere that this game is a PlayStation 5 launch title and I'm not really sure what is set to be a launch title which feels really weird like there's a bunch of games that could be launch titles like Deathloop but I'm wondering why we don't know the specifics yet. Just how many games are going to launch with the PlayStation 5? Now I expect we'll have defined dates for many games as soon as Sony finally announced the PS5 release date and with that maybe the pricing for it too if they'd be so kind. I do think whenever we finally get the official PlayStation 5 announcement where they give us the date and the pricing. Many, many games, including Deathloop, should give us these real release dates. For now, that's everything we know so far for Deathloop. If you're a Dishonored fan, it's safe to say that you should be excited about this game. Personally, I really like the vibe, the story, the whole speedrun Deathloop stuff, but as soon as I saw and learned more about this PvP invasion mechanic, I was officially hyped. What do you think about this mechanic? Would you turn it off or lean like right into it? When it comes to gameplay like this, the skill cap cap is really high, and I definitely think absolutely dunking on players is very possible, which would probably upset newer players. Either way, if you like the video, please be sure to hit like to help with the old YouTube algorithm. I'll be sure to be covering any future Deathloop news where possible, and a should you play on release. And until then, I've been Hollow, you've been you, and I'll see you next time.